Hey Jim, thanks for running the smell and giving me and Bart a place to hang out and keeping us off the streets. Keep up the good work. Happy smell anniversary, Jim Smith. Hi Jim, happy 16th anniversary to the smell. Thanks so much for continuing to support the heroes and outsiders of LA and giving us a space to create. You're amazing, the smell's amazing. Happy 16th, happy sweet 16. Happy New Year, happy anniversary to the smell. Thank you, Jim, for doing everything you do. And thanks to all the volunteers, William, Lou, and everybody. I love you guys. Um, keep it up. Okay? 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 <laughs> hey! Well, um, I did say I would do that today. Um, Brett, Jim's, uh, yeah, uh, Jim, happy anniversary. Great job. 16 years, keeping the doors open, safe place for us all to have fun, listen to... Oh, sorry, I was, um, baking. And, uh, but yeah, um, you know, actually, I, I, I'm kind of... You know, the... Jim Smith, happy anniversary and thank you for everything you do. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm here to uh, speak for the place called The Smell. One thing I, I want to mention is, is that what I like about this place is that the job is well, you know, very you know, good thing that I like to do. And I like Jim because Jim, he runs the place, and I love working with him. And I like to keep, you know, the place in good safe, you know, way you know, for everyone make sure everybody's well protected you know Jim's been a good boss to me and I really like him a lot he's been working really hard for this place to keep the business going and he's been you know planning all the you know arrangements of schedules for you know to set up for the bands when they call in for appointments to play here and He's been doing a really, really good job at it, and I give him you know, props and credit for that because that's what I like, you know, doing business and, and people really feel comfortable about how I handle my job and they see for themselves that I prove, you know, makes improvement for a lot of people. And I enjoy for what I do, and I'm glad that I'm being of service as best I can for everyone. So, please. If you ever are looking for the place for it, you know, to play music or whatever kind of, you know, variety of music, please be free to get in touch with with uh, Jim and he'll set up the, you know, the schedules for you and enjoy yourselves and have fun. I'm here to be of service. Thank you. Dear Jim, in honor of the smell's 16th anniversary, I've hired this actress to read a prepared statement on my behalf. Very simply, every positive thing in my life I owe to you and the smell. Every friendship and important moment in my adult life can be traced back to the smell. Your guidance and friendship over the past 11 years has been a blessing. I love you. Thanks for everything now and always. Here's to another 16. Thank you. Michael David Firestein. Happy Sweet Sixteen! Thanks for existing and being so kind for your 16 years. Teenagers, many skills, how to sell lovely snacks, how to get really cool cute stamps, how to play a show here. This was the first place where I ever crossed So, thank you. Thanks to thank you smell. Hi Jim and Stone, I just want to say happy sweet 16, yay! Um, yeah, thank you for 
for all your hard work because I know that it gets boring sometimes coming here every day. So thank you and thank you for still keeping it alcohol free. Um, that's the best part. Um, thank you and see you tonight. Bye. Hey June. Great job. Nice little place you got. You know, uh, 16 years is a pretty big deal. I remember just like I turned 16 right when I started going. So, yeah. Big deal. Oh, it's doing a little like. It's kind of doing a butt. Congratulations, Jim. 16 years! Happy birthday. Hi Smell. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for all the opportunities. It's been wonderful. I learned a lot. I uh, met a lot of friends. It, I think it's really good what you do for this uh, city. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, what would you say to Jim? Before we started, what would you say? Um, I would, oh yeah, I would say thank you. Um, for being there for everyone. What else would you say about him? Oh, well, he's super fine. <laughs> Everybody knows it. I mean, it's hard to, like, be, like, to, like, joke about it because he is, like, really attractive. So. <laughs> All right, we got it. Hey, Jim. Happy 16th. You know, you do a whole lot of really special things for the community, so for your birthday, the guys in pizza and I decided to chip in and get you something really special that we think you're going to like. No, Jeff, not Jim's birthday. The smell of sweet 16. <laughs> this rubber ball, it goes up and down. So, happy anniversary, Jim. Keep on trucking. Jim. Congratulations on 16 years, bud. I love you. Hi, Jim. Thanks for making the smell last for 16 years. Congratulations on a sweet 16. And I've said it before, but I don't think I've ever said it to you. You're totally a saint for even keeping this place alive. And um, what you do for everybody is truly amazing. I look forward to many, many more years and many great shows at the smell. After sweet 16. Hi there, Jim. It's Nicholas. Um, yeah, I wanted to send my regards on the 16th anniversary of the smell. It's been a real roller coaster ride, and here's to 16 more years. Have a good one. Dear Jim, dear smell, thank you for running the cultural monument that has been the home where many of us local wide-eyed creators have had the opportunity to play at. Kitty, I remember being a naive little girl thinking it would be so cool to play there. Sure enough, one day my dreams came true and then I came back again and again. We all know that there is a sort of character, a flair, an endearing charm that is unique to the smell and the smell alone. 
I love you and want to say thank you so much for having the passion to keep the dream alive for so many of us. Happy Sweet Sixteen. Love me. In this thing. Hey Jim, I uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for the great 16 years of the smell and uh, really appreciate all the work you put into the, uh, the venue and your tireless commitment to uh, providing a safe space for people in downtown LA. And I really can't say enough <laughs> about how, how much it is that the smell is uh, an integral part of me. I mean, quite honestly, I wouldn't be where I am today um, if I wasn't part of this community of people and artists. Um, I really appreciate the fact that we have something in this community like the smell where we can go to each week and uh, be ourselves and um, be inspired from each other. Um, so I just wanted to give my thanks because I really appreciate what you've given to this community over the past 16 plus years. Um, just, I, just giving my absolute thanks and gratitude for all it is that you've done for us and uh, everybody involved. So I'm just giving my thanks and uh, peace and love and namaste. And, um, I moved to LA in March of 2012, kind of on a whim. Um, I had been traveling around. When I got here, I didn't really have any money. I didn't have a job lined up. I didn't have a place to live even. Um, but I had remembered uh, coming into LA on tour about five years earlier and playing at The Smell. Uh, it was the first time that I toured the West Coast and uh, that was the most memorable show of that tour. I met Jim that night. Uh, I made a decent amount of money, which was really nice. There were people there and uh, that was my first time in The Smell. I was pretty blown away by it. And uh, when I ended up moving here, I decided that I was gonna start volunteering there. Um, so, after I had been in L.A. for about a week, I uh, went to a show at The Smell and asked how I could uh, help out. And Jim told me to sign into the Black Book, so I signed up as a sound trainee and uh, did a couple shifts there um, under this guy Chico. And then he stopped showing up for his shifts, <laughs> so by default I became uh, the uh, actual sound guy instead of just the trainee. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I ended up spending a lot of time there, uh, and really looking forward to doing the shows. And it, uh, helped kind of put me into the middle of the community of, uh, volunteers and other bands that, uh, played at this smell. So I got to meet a lot of people and I got to see a lot of shows. And, uh, the more shows I saw, the more I was reminded of the fact that, uh, growing up in Miami, there was not a place like the smell that existed, no all ages spaces that I knew of. So um, we would play in people's houses in the suburbs, they would usually get shut down by the cops. Uh, there wasn't really any home base to uh, kind of let creativity flourish in. So um, yeah, uh, we also didn't have any exposure to anything in the underground either. Um, it was just top 40 radio and MTV. So. When I go into the smell and I see, you know, all these crazy uh, bands coming in and uh, young kids getting to experience uh, these incredible shows, uh, I think it's great. And um, I've had a really good time there training uh, some other people on how to run sound. It's been really fulfilling for me. Uh, they've started running shows, a few of them that I trained started running shows by themselves and they're doing really good and uh, I think that's pretty awesome, makes me proud. Um, yeah, it's an amazing place, uh, an amazing group of people. Jim is one of the most inspirational people that uh, I know of. I, I don't think I've ever met anyone that works as hard as him. Uh, <laughs> he's there from the beginning of each show all the way through the end, last person to leave. and. Um, 
yeah, I mean, it makes me want to work harder on my stuff when I see someone who's that dedicated to their thing. So, yeah, I mean, very, very important part of my life now. I enjoy every moment that I spend there. Um, it's an inspiring place for me creatively as well. All the bands that I see have definitely um, made me want to create more, play out more, and uh, be a better musician. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Congratulations on 16 years. I'm really hey, hey, I just wanted to thank Jim and The Smell for putting on all those crazy Mika Mika shows that would happen back in the day. Because without those shows, I never would have seen the amount of naked men that I've seen in my life. And those were just like amazing, amazing times of a naked dude getting on stage, ready to stage dive into a crowd surf. And because he's naked, everyone just moving out of the way and all these men just hitting the ground. It was good times. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, The Smell. How long have you been coming here, Frank? 14 years. And uh, what's uh, what's the progression of the smell been like? How, how was it when you first started coming here and how is it now? A lot better now since he put in the new sound stage. Don't have to deal with mail. Yeah. Uh, what has the smell meant to you in the course of your life? Or what has Jim meant to you in the course of your life? Good friend. Yeah. You know. Do anything right. I can for him within reason. Yeah. You know. You take, you take a bullet for him? Huh? You take a bullet for him? Possibly. You possibly take a bullet for possibly. him? I took That's one good. for myself. You took a bullet for yourself? Yeah. Wait, wait, this isn't even about the smell anymore. This is about him getting shot. <laughs> Tell us the story of you getting shot. I was cleaning my twenty two long rifle. Oh, you shot yourself? Yeah, I did. No, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this guy. Right here. 